All right. I love this guy. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Honolulu, Hawaii. Weighing in at 263 pounds, the International Wrestling Grand Prix Champion, Jeff Cobb. If this person spent as much time focused on their ring work as they do for standing up for what they believe in, they'd maybe be undefeated. Corey, I think sometimes a person's courage and character speaks louder than their record. Really? Show me the last time someone got a title match because of their courage and character. It's this simple for the champ. Win no matter what the stakes are. Here we go, guys. And his opponent from Japan, weighing in at 187 pounds, the action champion. The WWE Universe more than ready to see this one start. This is going to be good. Keeps his focus 100% of the time. That's why he's the champion. And remember, this is a non-title match, but still a high-stakes affair for the champion's opponent tonight. For the sake of pride alone, this is a must-win match on both sides. Neither man can take each other lightly. I hope for their sake that neither of them will. And across the ring is a superstar with nothing to lose and everything to gain. Respectfully, Byron, that's nonsense. This is as high risk a move as it gets. You lose a non-title match to the champ, you can kiss an opportunity at the title goodbye for the foreseeable future. STO! Ooh, clothesline delivered. He reverses it. Ah, come on, that's a bit dirty. And heavy hands to follow. Just never had a chance to block any of those. Stopped them in their tracks with a kick to the gut. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Well-placed kick. Turning the tables there. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. No. Slingshot sent on to the outside. Throwing all caution to the wind and leaping to the outside. He had it scouted. Stomp to the gun. He moves just in time. I able to counter. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no. Into a chop block. Count out maybe imminent here. Really 
testing fate right now. Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Oh, oh. the right suplex. And he goes into the ring. This singles contest has a victor. Here is your winner, Jeff Cobb. The out of the ring count getting the best of them tonight. It's not the prettiest, most honorable, or even the most fun way to win, but hey, countouts happen. Behold the unbelievable presence that is the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. The true meaning of a larger than life superstar. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Grenoble, France. Weighing in at 520 pounds, the eighth wonder of the world. Andre the Giant! There is only one Andre the Giant. Yeah, a man whose supremacy is unmatched. And a man who helped build the very foundation of WWE. A tower of a man, but the epitome of evil and destruction. Andre can do whatever he wants, whenever he wants. Oh, 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 are you guys ready? And his opponent from Auckland, New Zealand, weighing in at 231 pounds, the hybrid champion, Hannah Ray. You know, this person takes some pride in their work, but who could blame them? Few are as gifted in the ring as this performer. Wow, you are laying it on thick, Saxton. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll hear you when they watch this match 10 times before bed tonight. It is all on the line tonight. He cannot afford to be unprepared against Andre the Giant. The eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant, looking to punish his opponent here tonight. Yeah, Cole, I don't envy anyone who has to step into the ring with Andre. Facing off against a man his size, you're already starting at a disadvantage. Then, on top of that, few competitors are capable of the type of inhuman destruction that Andre the Giant is. Going up against Andre is not something to take lightly, that's for sure, Corey. He certainly knows how to overwhelm the competition. But they are really going to have an uphill battle in this one. Going up against someone who already has their name engraved into a championship, 
and has nothing to lose in this fight. No title on the line, just a battle for the champ to test their mettle before the bigger wars on the horizon. Whoa. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Counters that. Vicious right forearm. Two-handed choke slam. Oh, what a tackle. Oh, he knew what was coming, and Andre expected that. How do you even begin to strategize for a unique and exceptional opponent like Andre the Giant? Well, you start by looking at Andre's few weaknesses and build out from there. Use your speed and agility. Stay quick on your feet. Avoid his clubbing blows and only attack when the opportunity presents itself. It'll still take a minor miracle, but it's a good start against the eighth wonder of the world. Plants him. Is it enough here? And the referee stops the count before two. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. Ooh. Whoa, just floating through the air. The kick connects. That caught Andre square. He might have only poked the bear, though. Boot to the gut will stop anyone in their tracks. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. Oh, what a kick. Oh. What a chop. Oh, oh. That'll line up your chest. Andre just playing with his food right about now. Right forearm. Oh, fuck it. Gosh, landing face first. Oh, he's been waiting for him the whole time. No, he kicks out. It'll take more than that to hold him down. And it's reverse paid for that mistake. the pressure on. That's what he does. Keeps on the attack. Smart strategy. Attack the knee. Able to sidestep it. Like a brick wall running into you. He's looking shaky at best now. Might want to walk it off or shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Andre gets fended off. Oh, what a right hand! Andre is in big, big trouble. Kicked out at one? Even the ref can't believe it. That's, that's impossible. I, I can't believe what we just saw. It must be demoralizing knowing you've unleashed your best shot on your opponent to no avail. From the middle rope. Oh, takes another trip to the skies, and it pays off once again. You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. Ooh! My goodness! Can they do it, Byron? Yeah, I think so! And oh man, Andre has been busted open. That's you in your head. And the Giant can't stop any offense coming his way. I like this strategy. Trying to play to Andre's few weaknesses and attacking when the moment's right. Ma setting them up for the beats of the battle. Nowhere to go. Just brutal. He's going for the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. And he fights it off. Good Lord, scarily close to three. And up the turnbuckles we go. 
from the top. Diving headbutt. He is getting shredded apart right now. We're seeing Andre in an unusual tough spot. I and mean, you got to think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. A vicious stomp, and this superstar just reminding everyone how vicious they can truly be. Hammerlock applied, and this superstar is just imposing their will on their opponent. He's one step ahead there. Opportunity now for Andre to capture some momentum. Maybe Andre's found a new source of aggression to battle back with. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Ooh. And he tosses it back in now. This competitor in full control of their opponent delivering the headbutt, but more plans in mind. And as the superstar climbs to the middle rope, those plans will be bonsai drop. That's one of the reasons the Giants conquered everyone. Coming too close to call. Yeah, it's hard to predict how this one will end. What are we about to see? It's pretty hurt, I think. He's certainly hurt, but this superstar wants to inflict even more punishment. Now, come more on, what pain. does he get out of this? What's the point? A little reminder. What an egomaniac.
Oh, yeah, I am pumped for this guy. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Tokyo, Japan. Weighing in at 228 pounds, the International Wrestling Grand Prix World Heavyweight Champion, NJPW. Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. The champ planning to show his dominance in this division with an emphatic win tonight. And here comes one of our favorites. And his opponent, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 223 pounds, the International Wrestling Grand Prix Global Champion, David Flynn Lee. I ran into this superstar backstage, and I was shocked. I was appalled to hear them bad-mouthing their opponent in this match. It's not bad-mouthing. It's just some pre-match mind game. We'll have to see if that strategy works, Byron. But I will say, I was there with Corey, and the language was colorful. This guy lives to compete, so he'll be treating this match as if he were defending the title. And you can see it in his eyes. The champ is coming to this one focused and ready for a fight. The title is not on the line here tonight, but that is not going to keep him from keeping up the intensity in this one. He's only become more and more driven since becoming the champion, and we'll surely see that drive here in this one. But across the ring is a competitor with something to prove, making this the toughest challenge the champ has met yet. Yeah, Corey, if anything, you have to use this opportunity to prove yourself as being worthy of a future title opportunity. Goodness gracious. And repeated impacts like that will weaken you mentally as much as it does. Here we go. Look down the wall that could change the whole complexion of this match. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. A jarring impact. Evades their offense. Up into a fireman's carry position. A uh, fireman's carry. Into... Here's the cover. And he gets his shoulder up before the count. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Air raid crash. Oh, no. Look at this. Oh, twisting the neck. He's absorbed some damage already. through the arena. Face first. Answering back. Looking wobbly in the corner. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. He deflects it right back. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Irish curse backbreaker. Shoulders down! And this one is over. Here is your winner.
winner, David Flynn Lee. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets. The original, the official, the only club that matters. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ. We all know the OC loves to have a good time, but the one thing they might love even more is getting into a good old-fashioned fight. Yeah, they brawled all over the world and sometimes with each other. The OC never sleeps on a good fight. The OC looking ready to get to work. Get to work in that ring and then get into a few cold ones after all said and done. That is the OC way. The big, strong boy. And his opponent from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. Well, how about this? The first and last NXT UK champ in the building. Well, Tyler Bates is always down for a fight and always ready to get it on. Master Bates has remarkable poise to go with go. the flow. He's a big, strong boy. Imagine what the future holds for this incredible young superstar. With a career that has spanned decades as well as continents, AJ Styles has found tremendous success everywhere he stepped into the ring. He's racked up a long list of title reigns and major victories in that time. When you're as good as AJ Styles, you become a polarizing figure in the locker room. For as many friends as AJ's found along the way, he's probably earned double the enemies. 
but that just comes with the territory of having a career like the one AJ has enjoyed. Whether it's against friend or foe, AJ always gives it his all in the ring. I expect nothing less here tonight. That brings us to Tyler Bate, a UK standout who is one of the top stars in this industry across the pond. Now he's ready to carve out his place in the WWE history books. Bate has already accumulated a ton of accolades throughout his career, and I'm sure he has no plans of slowing down anytime soon. Flick shot, boom, with a forearm. On point. Tossed caution out the window, and it paid off. Adrenaline is through the roof now. Two. Suplex. There are many reasons why AJ Styles has been at the top of sports entertainment for so long. How do you formulate a game plan when going up against a superstar like Styles? A lot of AJ's offense starts with his lower body, Cole. He can't strike you as hard if he's favoring an injured leg. He can't go high risk if you chopped him down a bit. Starting with Styles' lower body may be the closest thing you'll get to an advantage over him. Down across the neck. AJ. Uh oh. AJ on the receiving end. Let's go. Let's go. Big back body drop. One elevation. Watch out. German suplex. Come on. No one kick out. Still in it. Vicious right forearm. He saw it coming, taking advantage. And that definitely made solid impact. It's locked in. And he's just in reach of the ropes and gets it to force the break. The ropes become a competitor's best friend in desperate moments like that one. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner. Tyler Bate suffering a loss here tonight. Tyler Bate tried everything he could, but he just came up short. Hopefully he used this as a moment of reflection to see what worked and what didn't, because clearly something didn't. Things are about to get good. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first 
from England, weighing in at 200 pounds, the Super Hybrid Champion, Gabriel Kidd. You look at this competitor, they may not be the most beloved by the WWE Universe, but there are a few superstars on the roster who are as respected in the back as them. Could your bias be showing any more, Saxton? You hate to admit a fact that paints a superstar in a positive light. We get it. You pick favorites. The champ knows the competition level's at an all-time high. He needs to show he's above all competitors. Straight out of Dudleyville and into the and fire. Representing the Dudley Boys from Dudleyville, weighing in at 326 pounds, Bubba Ray Dudley. A tag team legend, but has no problem being a bully on his own. Now, there's no separation anxiety on his own for Bubba. He's extremely comfortable competing at a table for one. Bubba Ray's a superstar who lives to verbally and physically emasculate opponents. Brutal in every sense of the word. Yeah, you're right, Corey. It doesn't matter the stipulation of the match. Bubba Ray Dudley always has weapons at the ready. Here comes the Macho King. Bow down to the madness. And from Sarasota, Florida, weighing in at 239 pounds, the Macho King, Randy Savage. He is a man who has proclaimed himself as king. Well, Byron, a king shouldn't address that type of disrespect. A former WWE champion who will rightfully claim the main event as his kingdom. I can't wait to see a royal elbow drop. Agreed. Uh, he may be pompous, but he's still fun to watch. Yeah, now we're talking. Accompanied by Jay Briggs Chung from Delaware, weighing in at 229 pounds, one half of the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions, Mark Briggs Chung. Just look at the swagger on display. I love it. Swagger? Really, Saxton? You know a number of people in the back just despise this superstar. Well, the WWE Universe clearly disagrees with you, Corey. Oh, and what else is new? The WWE Tag Team Division is more competitive than ever. As these two teams get into it, I can almost guarantee this match will be one to remember. The standards for tag team action just keep getting higher and higher around here. Right. Hits him with a gut wrench suplex. What impact? Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Oh, enough already. He switches it back around. Pretty drop kick. 
He's gearing up for something. Oh, rough landing off the suplex. Kick to the midsection, leg is hooked, Buster! And if you take one too many of those, we know how this match is gonna turn out. Toss down. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Oh my, discus punch. Into the corner, this can't be good. Turn down the lights, kick everybody out. Cotton call. Oh, what a right. Yeah, that's some attitude behind it. He's lost some of his win now. Tag is good. Tag. This should be a good one here. Or bad for their opponent. Oh, wow. Tandem offense in effect. A good team knows how to truly work as one down on the windpipe. And will this be it? Almost two and a half. Able to squeeze that shoulder out so close. Oh my, discus punch. This one's all but over. And a shoulder in the air. I didn't think this match was close to over. And the unabated offense continues. Yeah, but he's always one counter away from changing things. Bang! Drop kick. Look at this, just unloading. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. He turns it around. He's able to take a stand there. Brief sign of adrenaline there for him. Had it scouted. The referee continues the count, may call it soon. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Oh, what a suplex. Oh, gripping the jaw. My goodness. That's insulting. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Tag is made, and he's coming in hot. Grabbed by Bubba. Drives his opponent down with a urinagi. Getting him into the corner. Effective arm drag. Oh, what a crash. You hear the talk in the locker room, the anything you can do, I can do better mentality that's been building between these competitors. I've noticed just how much they've been trying to one up each other as of late, and I'm liking what I'm seeing. He's looking a little off balance. Elbow drop. Piercing. Oh, he's been waiting for it the whole time. Shoulder up before the count. Amazing. That's a tag. There's a tag. What are we going to see here? Double team effort. And oh. double shoulder. Oh, no way. Oh. Where is it? Shoulders down. Baffling decision here. Pulled back 
into the hip toss. in the ring. The managers are running around outside barking at each other. And now they're getting a physicality. Well, here comes the official looking to restore some order. <laughs> You're out of here. That manager will no longer be at ringside and the other manager too. And the match is going to continue. Passion in the moment got the best of them there. Well, I'm glad. It's pretty selfish to come out here in support of someone else than make this match about yourself. I agree. Macho's in full force here now. Just end this now. Oh, he's playing possum! Quick shoulder up. How on earth could he not keep him down for even one at this point? Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Right up to the top. What are we going to see here? Dragon sleeper locked in. Oh, my God. Tagged in. Kick to the gut. Ranked around into a neck breaker. What are they doing here? Trying to wrestle free their opponent's arm. Has the arm trapped. Delivering nasty stumps. Has their opponent down. Oh. Camel clutch. You gotta find a way out of the camel clutch. That'll do it. Headlock. Ooh, a cheap shot right above the eye. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Great job refocusing to reverse that. He got whipped into that corner. He's in off the tag. Oh, right to the throat. Hooked up. There's a small package driver. That could be Bubba Ray's demise. Cover! The uh -huh. teammate makes the save! And just in time. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh, driven face first into the apron. This is dangerous territory for both athletes. The ring apron. Are you kidding me? Off the apron to the floor. Effective arm drag. Carefully measuring. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Dribbling the opponent's 
Drops in like a basketball. There's the tag. Jumping clothesline. What agility. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Ooh, in the face. He's able to beat a two count. He's still got more left in the tank. Oh, blue. Ooh. Firm control. Oh, man. Kick to the face. And look at this now. Bad intentions coming with this hold. Uh-oh. Oh, this is going to hurt the legs. Oh, no. This is not. Ah, uh, save. Just in a nick of time. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. Uh-oh, double underhook. This is going to be nasty. Butterfly pile driver. Is this what he needs for the win? Makes a cover. What a kick out at two. Wow, looks like this book has a couple more chapters in it. We might be seeing a whole saga written tonight. And there needs to be a refocus now. That was the moment that could have ended things. A moment that's being replayed in their heads right now. Not the position you want to be in right now. Can he show the power? We are seeing these men leaving it all on the line. No stone being left unturned. Everything the body can give is being brought to the table. Ow! Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Up to the top rope now. From the top rope. Eye for an eye here. This is gonna hurt. Doomsday Saido. Shoulders down. Kicks out. He still has life. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't either. Can this ref even count the three? Set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, uncorked a big punch. Whoa! Back suplex into a neck breaker. Is it enough? The cover! And the count stopped short of two. You expect these pins to last much longer at this stage in the match. Uh-oh. He's returning fire. Well put. 
placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Oh my goodness! Dynamite leaping tombstone. That has Savage counting the lights. And the ref stops the count. Clean tag for his partner. Macho is out of it, completely in peril. Waist lock applied, but their opponent manages to fight out with a series of punches. And he sends him into the corner. Boom, decapitating clothesline in the corner. This has been an epic encounter. He's Here we go. Oh. Somersault plancha. Soaring out of the ring, looking to do as much damage as possible. And a massive elbow to follow. And Bubba clearly ready for a fight here. Big plans in mind from Bubba. From the top. Whoa, what a landing. Took a leap of faith and connected perfectly. This could be just what they needed. Air Raid Siren! I don't know how you survived that. Yokes up their opponent. Sidewalk slam delivered. The noise surging through this arena is ridiculous. It's the echoes of the universe witnessing a war. Referees count at seven. They need to get back into the ring. The temple's getting rattled. Impact. He's in now. Finally. Macho gets countered. Back and forth from these competitors. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Oh, loving blow. Bubba Ray zeroing in. Bubba launches him into a Bubba cutter. Did Bubba Ray clinch this? What a match. Tagged into action. Vicious right forearm. With the reversal. Bang right in the face. Leg sweep. Not done there. Rapid fire rights over and over. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. What a throw. Ooh. So much damage inflicted. Register. He takes control. Headbutt. Vicious. In off the tag.
two. How in the world did he kick out? Oh, turned it into a rocking hit. From behind. Back suplex. Put into the corner now. Solely focused on in the corner. Oh, driver spiked him. Tag made, fresh man in. Bite your tongue with that. Oh, smash in the corner. Close line to the front of the cover. Oh. And there's the win. Huge win here tonight. Here are your winners. The Macho King and Mark Briggs. Tag team chemistry in full effect with these two superstars. They say when you know, you know. And I know there's no tag team on the roster that can touch these two guys. Pound for pound, one of the best around. A naturally gifted cruiserweight phenomenon. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 205 pounds. Hey, the Rero! You don't have to like the new and improved Eddie, but you do have to respect him. Well, I personally can't respect anyone this selfish. No denying Guerrero's bad attitude. But there's no denying his bad attitude is going to take him a long, long way. Eddie Guerrero always sporting that cocky look on his face, but... To Guerrero's credit, he always backs it up inside the ring. He may be a cruiserweight, but he can take on anyone. And here he comes. And his opponent from Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, the ring of pro wrestling champion, Tank Oli. Hey, where's the horse? What are you talking about? 
Yeah, what horse? The high horse this superstar always seems to be on. Did Jerry Lawler write that line for you? Well, this superstar is about to feel the Latino heat as he faces Eddie Guerrero. Forget the rule book. Eddie knows how to break every rule in the library. And with the bell, we're about to see Eddie Guerrero in action. Eddie's about as scrappy and crafty as they come in this business. Guerrero has a chip on his shoulder the size of Texas, and that's manifested in his in-ring style. As impressive as it is cutthroat. Yeah, and for that, Guerrero is definitely a competitor. You should never take your eye off, whether you're his opponent or the official. And I hope they're ready for a fight because the champ does not like to lose. Title match or not, Corey, we've seen the champ enter each battle with the same amount of fight. I think this match is no different. Powerbomb! Now that's what you call impact. Oh, stomp it away. Oh, complete dead left. This is incredible. Gut wrench suplex. Well, they say everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Well, someone just threw their plan out the window. is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. He really didn't want to pose in Andy Guerrero tonight. Corey, what do you focus on to score the victory in this match? You need to adapt to Guerrero's playbook, which is a complete lack of a rule book. Be aware when he's willing to lie, cheat, or steal, and initiate proper countermeasures. Stop him from malfeasance, and know when you can perhaps get one over on Latino Heat. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. That type of physicality earns Guerrero the advantage. In the corner is not a good spot to be. Explores! Quickly to cover. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. And those kickouts are only going to get harder. Dominating shoulder tackle. Both wrists captured and he's knee strike into the pin attempt there's two manages to escape before the three count very close fatigue clearly set again god ah, jeez I mean, it's just punishing the knee shot after shot after shot hammering away every strike more devastating than the last and the momentum is shifting away from Eddie. Guerrero's been deterred from stealing this match thus far. Good job keeping Eddie's rule breaking in check. Driven down. Is it enough? Power in at it one. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. Drop kick. Oh, oh great height. Oh, solid kick across the back. Kick to the midsection. Could be thinking about the gory special, yes. Gory special. The official. Trying to find a way out. Elbow into an arm drag. Beautiful escape. He was. Latino Heat with a boot to the gut. And a brain buster. Will Eddie make it pay off? Victory there, and uh, opponent's pretty hurt, I think. Certainly hurt, but this superstar wants to inflict even more punishment. Now, come on, what's the point? A little reminder. What an egomaniac.
Prepare for over 550 pounds of dominance. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from the land of the rising sun, weighing in at 558 pounds, Yokozuna! He is a multiple-time WWE Champion, the winner of the 1993 Royal Rumble, and a truly unstoppable athlete. You can't get him over the ropes or off his feet. Yokozuna is truly an immovable object. Ready to flatten the opposition tonight and has one word for anyone in the locker room. Banzai! Here comes the first mixed martial artist in WWE history, Ken Shamrock. And his opponent from Sacramento, California, weighing in at 205 pounds, the world's most dangerous man, Ken Shamrock. Ken Shamrock earned his moniker of the world's most dangerous man, and he's set on living up to it. Shamrock looking to make short work of his opponent tonight. Well, this man is going to have to pick his spots and limit the ability for Yokozuna to use his massive size. Very few superstars have ever been able to match the pure intensity that Ken Shamrock brings to the ring. His focus and killer instinct are maybe unmatched. Shamrock is a lit stick of dynamite with a very short fuse. His uncontrollable temper paired with his savage combat skills. Play and possum! Shoulders down! He kicks out instantly. He is still very much in this. Oh, wow. He's got him scouted. Corey, what should be the strategy for the Hall of Famer Yokozuna here tonight? He needs to know his strengths and weaknesses. Yoko ain't going to be running marathons, but he's very quick and very strong. He needs to weather the storm, get his opponent where he wants him, and then, to put it lightly, squash him like a buck. Sky high. Bang! Uh, Shamrock caught with a reversal. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. And that move might have crossed the line. That showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. And one more reverse. A oh, bear hug. Furiously trying to fight his way out of the bear hug. Can he do it? Yes. Fireman's carry. Nice takedown. Just cranking the head. Punishing stretch. That could produce a dislocation or at the very least, a pinched nerve. Range down an elbow retaliation. Kick to the abdomen. Ringer. Their opponent but gets countered with a right hand. Nothing fancy there, spinning your Anagi. Ken wasn't prepared for that. Yeah, any form of Yoko's offense is going to be very effective. 
Oh, no, 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 no. A big splash. There's that agility and ruthless. Yoko says this one's over. Bonds eye drop. That can do Shamrock in. Two. He kicks out somehow. I truly thought it was all over there. Talk about resilience. Yeah, but did you see how the referee had to get into position? That was all the difference. I don't think anyone inside this building was expecting a kick out after that move from Yokozuna. He's heading up top. Thinking, taking flight. What? Taken out from high above. You got to be some special kind of crazy to do that. Just stretching out the arm. Yokozuna saw it coming. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Yokozuna dodges out of that. Oh, man, right across the chest. Fighting back with a counter. Oh, Shamrock blocking in the ankle lock. Will his opponent tap out? No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Kick to the gut creates. Uh oh, Forum going to cut off the win. Guillotine applied. I think he's got it locked in good. I just don't have. The guillotine locked in. This is all. No, that was an incredible counter. Look at for a scoop slam, but from behind, inverted DDT connects. Pulled in from belly to belly. For the win! Two breaks the count. That is just pure instinct at this point. And Shamrock looking to make his opponent tap out. The ankle lock is cinched. He gets the win. What a performance by Ken Shamrock. Here is your winner, the world's most dangerous man, Ken Shamrock. Well, that came out of nowhere. An unexpectedly quick end to this match. Clever is really the only word that can describe that victory. However you want to describe it, it certainly worked. and professional wrestling realm. 
The angle has defeated the best of the best, no matter how loud the WWE Universe performs that awful chant. That sound of breaking glass is the prelude to a beatdown. The Texas Rattlesnake is here. And his opponent from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. A Royal Rumble winner, a multi-time champion, but still, Stone Cold Steve Austin is fired up and hungry for more. In Austin's mind, the top prizes in this company are always for his taking. He takes what he wants around here. Just like you'd expect a man who has made a career out of doing things on his terms. When Austin's in the mix, it's his way or the highway. Kurt Angle's disgusted that Austin is considered the greatest WWE superstar of all time, while Angle is a damn gold medalist. No one questions Angle's achievements and ability to perform under the brightest lights, but now Kurt's in the pressure cooker because he's gotten the attention of the Texas Rattlesnake. Uh-oh. Stone Cold reverses. Oh, wow. And for all of his experience, Kurt looked outclassed there. There's that nastiness of Stone Cold coming into play. His opponent simply had no answer for it. So much torque on the knee and ankle. What a counter! Escapes with a knee to the gut. Wow, he reversed angle. How? This could do it. And a kick out. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Oh, that's a kick that would leave you gasping for air. Relentless offense from Steve Austin. This guy is treating angle like a proper opponent and not an unapproachable legend. Good strategy as he takes advantage. He may be in a bad way here. Austin trying to kick some you-know-what right about now. Great body control. Uh-oh. Oh, just completely off target there. My goodness, I think I heard something break on that crash landing. Oh, no. Right to the back of the neck. Oh, Fez pressing and, and dropping bombs. The Texas Rattlesnake striking with devastating force. Austin knows all it takes sometimes is one big hit. So much torque on the knee and ankle. Guys, we could be looking at the start of one of the all-time great sports entertainment rivalries. Way to put the cart before the horse, Cole. Sure, there's potential here. There always is. But they're not exactly having to be ripped apart from each other yet. Oh, man, right to the R. Hyper extend your elbow. And walking it dry. Kurt Angle in need of a reprieve. Austin's got the pedal to the metal. And he's able to reverse. Shoulder tackle. Austin wards the attack off. A million dollar dream applied. And now Jim rolled out of it. Great escape. Oh, what a counter. Will be ended here. Hey, guys, do you think they suffered an injury to the midsection, maybe the back? 
It's entirely possible. Certainly seems to be the case. Oh, look, look at this superstar. You can see how they're just wincing in pain. As they struggle to, to exit the ring. It's an absolutely brutal contest for both of these athletes. You just have to keep your fingers crossed that this is just typical in-ring damage and not something more severe. Truly glorious arrival. A multiple time champion around the world. There is no one else as glorious. I can think of some people. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weighing in at 235. You can never underestimate Robert Roode's in-ring abilities. Because if you make that mistake, you are in for a rude awakening. See what I did there? I get it. You know, long before Seth freaking Rollins had his battle choir, the WWE Universe was singing about this man's glory. Listen, Corey, they still do it now. But Robert Roode wants to show everyone exactly why he's still considered oh so glorious. Ah, oh, now it's a party. Come on, everybody, throw your hands up. Please throw your stop. Hands up. Please stop. stop. From the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 425 pounds. Don't be fooled by his dance moves. This is the 425-pound foundation of the bloodline. Yeah, when the party's over, it's going to be painful. And you're looking at the man who says when the party's over. The thing about Rikishi, guys, is he loves to have fun, right? But he's all business when the bell rings. That's the best part. Once the music stops, Rikishi, one of the most threatening superstars in all of WWE. If there's one guy in WWE who knows how to have a good time, it has to be Rikishi. From funky dance moves to hilarious antics, Rikishi always knows how to lighten the mood. But let's not forget that Rikishi's in-ring abilities are no laughing matter. 
He may be all smiles, but Rikishi knows how to get the job done when the bell rings. You're right about that, Byron. When Rikishi shows up, you know you're in for two things. Serious fun and incredible in-ring action. And let's turn our attention to the glorious Robert Roode for just a moment. This is a man who carries himself like a champion and has the veteran resume to back up everything he said. Again, truly glorious. Big right connects. Straight across the top rope. Rikishi, top turnbuckle. Lift off. Oh, man. Great reversal. He has Root in his grasp. Boom, what impact. That's one of the hardest hits Root has taken thus far. Rikishi looked ferocious going on the attack here. I oh, had that well scouted. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. Continuing to work on the arm with a... Rikishi able to dodge that. his two decades of experience in this matchup, it could be enough to get the win. The more he utilizes all of that incredible knowledge, the more they... From the top! Oh, and he doesn't connect! Oh, right oh, right down. Down. It cinched it! We're gonna free the arm and does just that. This match is brutality starting to show on it. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Attack after attack is smothering Robert. Yeah, Rikishi isn't giving any quarter. Crank in the head. Improving a bit slippery for them there. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. by Rikishi. I think Rikishi's about ready to put an end to this. Rikishi with a Bonsai drop. Simple math there. Gravity plus weight is in a corner. Rikishi got it. Here is your winner, Rikishi. What a great win here for Rikishi. I think plenty of victory dances are in order for Rikishi after this one.